All right. Getting you those updates as far as the elections in the state of Karnataka is concerned. Now it seems uh, that when it comes to uh, MP Kumaraswamy, who has been uh, resigning uh, from the BJP, and this is also coming in the backdrop that he was apparently denied ticket from Mudigiri in the second list that has now been released by the BJP. And Times now, we are told, has also accessed the resignation letter. Deepak, if you can go through the details and the content coming in of this resignation that has now been announced by this leader from the BJP. Right, Amita. Now, uh, after the second list was announced, many BJP leaders or sitting MLAs were denied a ticket are miffed with uh, the high command and one of them happens to be MLA MP Kumaraswamy from the Moodigere Assembly constituency and this is the letter that he has sent to Nalin Kumar Katil who is the state BJP chief and if I could read out the operative part he says that Manyare Pakshada Lina Belavani Ge Galinda Besatu Bharatiya Janta Pakshada Pratamika Sadakshat Tetege Rajiname Nidu Tidene Nana Kori Kenu Anukarisi Anukarisa Bekendu Vinanti. That means he says that uh, in light of the recent developments in the Saffron Party, I would like to submit my resignation to you all and I please uh, I kindly urge you all to accept my resignation. But what we have to understand here is that MLA MP Kumar Swami has also blamed CT Ravi for being denied a ticket. Mm -hmm. He also went on to say that Karnataka uh, BJP in Karnataka wouldn't secure uh, more than 50 seats if not for BS Yadurapa. And we also should uh, consider that Shobha Karanlaje, who is a prominent BJP MP, had also lobbied for a ticket for MLA MP Kumaraswamy. But now, after the second list was uh, released, it looks like MLA MP Kumaraswamy has been denied a ticket. All right. Thank you very much for the moment, Deepak, for getting us those updates.